because he carried on working at Old Orleans or somewhere when he was in space. He just kept working. And if somebody on the tables went, uh, are you um, are you from um, um, uh, I'm space? And he went, no, 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 people say I look like him. No. <clears throat> Good, 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 good. Well, we are technically We're behind the curtain. Cool. Clean. Perhaps behind the curtain the is down, but we are up. I the am. four of us, there's, uh, there's me, there's John, there's Rich, obviously. We've got a special guest that's uh, got Andy Parsons here. Hello, my name's Andy Parsons. Because I thought I'd... Oh, oh, I don't know. I should have... I should have. <laughs> I think the girls, the girls from Tattoo are joining us. Like, oh, nice! <laughs> I was going to say a really awful thing there. Yeah, that would have been trouble. We cool. like the muff so much. The <laughs> oh is my no god, good. he did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the cock is no good, boss. That's an ex. That's a that's a weird Ricky Gervais reference. It. It's really cool. The thing is, if someone yeah. says something offensive and we're not on screen, how can they possibly tell who it was? Exactly, never yeah. could. Never could. Look virgin. how much forehead you're getting for your money today. Fuck it. How bald is John Martin? <laughs> I don't know. We That's the future, second. John. Give it that two years, not... mate. No way, mate. I'm keeping it. Looking very thin. <laughs> I'm not. I wish I was. Anorexic. <laughs> Oh, new coil. Oh, uh, 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 has anyone really... acknowledged our existence in chat? Uh, oh, I, I don't have John to. sounding nothing like his pick from Tony. That's fine. That'll, that'll do. Oh, it's the picture of the. Yeah, yeah, because obviously James has took all my hair off. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're fully bald. Fully bald. Well, I've got a way bigger head than that, but it's good that I like it. Yeah. I was kind. You were. Hmm. Um, right, so just well, like a few technical issue was to resolve, and then we are going really live. How's about that? Good. Oh, look, Brad's here. <laughs> it doesn't right, any... guys, you okay? How's this going? You're all having a great show. We've just got set here with my blick pin talking about Nelson Mandela. Right, oh, we've, we've, milked, you, we've milked this, we've milked this. <laughs> Hi, Brad. It's me, Andy Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good, James. But there's no time for that now. I need to roll the intro. Right, roll the intro. And we are live. Whoa. Welcome, welcome to the Ideal Home Show, episode one hundred ninety-eight. <laughs> one hundred ninety-eight. Two off. Two hundred. Right? Two more to go. And this one. Um, <laughs> maths. Um, and I, I, I know, I know, I know. Brad in here. Brad in here. But exactly stay what, tuned it? anyway because he could rock up, hammered. Any oh, moment yeah. during the, the show, yeah. he's been drinking since three, and he, he might not turn up. He might turn up shit faced, like <laughs> out and beyond. But it, yeah, and what does he bring to the show anyway? Nothing. Hilarity. Nothing. <laughs> if he's not hammered, he might as well not be here. So it's a win-win <laughs> situation. Brilliant. We've got um, this guy from JustAdNick.co.uk. This guy from the Parrel. How are you pronouncing it, James? I'm not. I, I don't see it out loud. I never. I ne I've never said it out loud ever. I, I write it. So I sometimes. I, I just. All I need is I need the V in the ear, and then it drops in automatically. I don't even need to spell it because sometimes I get the, too many P's and not enough L's, yeah. and too many L's and not enough P's. <laughs> Sounds like my sex life. I'm not entirely sure how you even pronounce uh, a Parrel. Yeah. Is it apparel or is it? Yeah, yeah. I'll go with that. I think that's yeah. fine. Yeah. So in that case, it's, it's the apparel. The James apparel. from the apparel. I'm not from there. I'm not from there. The the UK's number one 
fake merchandise outlet. That's true, true. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And, uh, and me, from that thing. True. Type in with B1CK <laughs> on the YouTube. Um, what, a, what a cracking show we've got for you tonight. Uh, even without Brad, there's quite a lot of news to get through. So we will endeavour to do that. Uh, we've got a little bit of squonking later on. A few things, some stuff, some really new stuff as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yep. We'll be showing that. And Travava at the end as well. So it's going to be Chocker Block. Yeah, got some exclusive, exclusive picks that nobody in the world has got apart from us. Nobody in the world. Yeah. Well, me, I've got them. Um, but then I uploaded them to the show and then you all have them. All of you people there and you two people up here. After this show, obviously it's worldwide. But, yeah, up but right, as it stands right now, yeah. hot off the press. Yeah. And then the press was rescinded, so even hotter. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we'll do all that. John. That mate. What do you have for lunch? What are you vaping? What are you drinking? And talk me through your perfect Sunday. Oh, that's pretty good. That is good. Easy. But Easy. not in a long drawn out John way. No, I'll do it real quick. In a, in real bullet points. Yeah, okay, okay. Real concise, John. Concise. Okay, look. Um, week's been good, day's been good. Um, yeah, I think weather's shit, isn't it? It's cold as well, it went really cold this morning. Um, <laughs> um, what have I done? We didn't, uh, uh, weather's not even a question. No, I know, but it makes the, makes the week, doesn't it? it? Changes your mood. We're I'm a little bit past small talk. <laughs> I've been doing a vape show for two and a half years. I'm not in bed with you. <laughs> what are you eating? Nothing. Oh. Snacks, good snacks. Snacks. Um, I had an egg sandwich, a pig a mix in a cup. It's just the stuff Molly didn't want. Oh, big fan of pig mix in a cup because you get the other cup, push it down, and then get the mm -hmm. lid on. Yeah, more in there. Just put some plumes in the top. Yeah, yeah, just really give it. Some. I remember when they used to do it. Is it no Dominic Smiths or Woolworths? You put it on the counter, put it down, and it just that they went. <laughs> no, no, what you do is when you get to the the, the marshmallow y stuff, just set fire to it. <laughs> and it, just, it just shrinks into the. Perfect. Um, uh, what if I was, an egg sandwich for lunch? Very boring with an egg sandwich. I just want egg. I don't Mayo? Want mayonnaise. No, I, just, I like egg. Bit of butter, bit of salt, egg, done. What? Boiled egg? Yeah, boiled egg. Add three boiled eggs in there. I was over again, probably, but it was Later. good. Well, if it fits in, it fits in. That's what she said. And then I had, um, <laughs> then I had a couple of dates and an orange. It was good. Uh, I think it was a tangerine. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got crack current. I love that you can say a couple of eggs and tangerine, and we all go fine. Yeah, it's fine. I had uh, this is crack current in a Dubois 16. Uh, uh, yeah, 50 milligram normal. Mm. And I've got a billet box red four inside it. I've got a velvet vapes. This is called velvet vapes. Thingy me bob and a coil from them. And in that, have you run? Have you run that coil out now? Uh, I had. It lasted two weeks. That's all right. Mesh coil cotton last two weeks <coughs> with can only do breakfast, which is pretty good. Um, uh, but in that today, I have got pistache. Um, from just having about 25 milligram. I thought I'd bring it with me to Expo. Um, that is banging. Oh, I got it on uh, 30 watts. Bang, 35 milligram. Um, that's superb. Perfect Sunday. I think that's quite easy. I don't want to do really anything. So, wake up in the morning. Someone else makes me eggs Benedict. Bang in. Love that. Um, coffee. Uh, watch a shitty movie like um, Batteries Not Included. That'd be pretty good. 
into lunch, uh, a beer before, probably. Red wine, don't care what meat it is, I'm drinking red. Um, uh, chicken, I reckon, roast chicken dinner, cauliflower cheese. Well, why not have beef? Oh, I'd have beef, probably. If you're gonna have, if red wine isn't an option. I'm not bothered. No, no, I'm saying red wine is the only option. Yeah, so therefore, the meat is the variable. No, I don't care. I, oh, I, don't, I don't get the whole meat wine thing, because I don't really like white wine that much, so I'm just going to drink the red regardless. But chicken is your perfect Sunday. I'd have a chicken, yeah. Yeah, we, you, you don't sound convincing there. This is like perfect. This is yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Roast chicken, banging. I love that. Roast, be, roast chicken over beef or pork. Yeah, good. Oh, that, that was the only option. Well, maybe, but I'm going for perfect. So there can't be a one and two. I'm having chicken, but I'm having it done like really crispy skin. I don't think and many people would have chicken as their perfect. It's a good thing. It's 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 just the perfect size for the you know bit for the whole family. It don't matter. <laughs> this is perfect. This is perfect. This is per- the stuff. Stop going so <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> That Stop just it. you're just picking your regular. This is just a Sunday, not just a Sunday, but <laughs> except Mrs. John cooks your eggs Benedict in the morning. This is just a normal Sunday, except you don't cook. Okay, okay right? So that's geez, it's a perfect Sunday. Okay, yeah. fly wake, to the moon in the morning, wake up already getting a blowy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, don't I go that no specific. Idea. No, I'm just really. saying. I'm just okay. Wake up. Okay, got it there. Wake up at the Alton Towers Hotel. Um, whatever that would have been there, but it's brilliant. Um, ex <laughs> I got Do you fast like Alton Towers? I do like Alton Towers. Okay, just checking. I do. Yeah, no, I really do. Um, it's really sunny outside, but not too hot. Just the no, right not too hot. Not just too if hot. I can wear a t-shirt. You don't want it too hot in the morning. <laughs> What's it going to be like at noon? <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's that temperature the whole day. Um, uh, I have I, I can go to the front of any ride whenever I want. So I've just got Nemesis like 15 yeah. times. Or something. Special pass. You could probably <laughs> get one. <laughs> and then... <laughs> The, the, the only perfect day John, they, they wouldn't day, question it at all. It wouldn't be too tall, it wouldn't be too small. That'd be good. That'd be good. Perfect day. That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. That's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> and, then, and then I have a roast chicken dinner at Alton Towers. No, 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 no. <laughs> I get on a helicopter and <laughs> go the speed of sound, but only a foot off the ground. <laughs> Why don't you just live next door to all the towers? I don't want it. <laughs> it's up north, it's horrible. Oh yeah, you could move on towers. <laughs> this is getting really stupid. Oh, and then I just get pissed and fall asleep and wake up the next day. Brilliant. Sounds ace. Excellent. Right. Well, let's do that. <laughs> anyway, James, how's your week been? What'd you have for lunch? What are you vaping up? What are you drinking up? <laughs> and what would be your perfect Sunday? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, this is turned to shit. Wait, no, it is no Brad. I didn't realise that Brad was such a peacekeeper in here. Here's the linchpin. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Uh, good week. Yeah, good week. I went to uh, uh, what did I do yesterday? I went to uh, an impromptu. wasn't impromptu. I just didn't find out about it. Um, Harvest Festival thing. When was the last time I went to one of them? That was good. I really enjoyed that whole world in my hands and that. That was good. Was it Jesus? Was it non Jesus? Oh, yeah, yeah. There was Jesus was mentioned. I was surprised about Jesus being really? mentioned. And then afterwards, they mentioned that they mentioned Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Oh, well, like, uh, they put us." I realised that we uh, we mentioned Jesus earlier, and uh, but it's the harvest, and that's all to do with. Uh, but it's, it's coming together, and oh, yeah, we're giving this to church, but we mentioned Jesus. Sorry about the Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, week's been good. I am drinking on Carlsberg and uh, Estrella, and Danish I am Danish Pilsner. On, yeah, fine Danish Pilsner. I am vaping on a Lugos. And I am vaping on Tobacco Crunch. I'm back on Tobacco Crunch. I've got a bite with V2 and a whistle on top. I've vaped all of me just that Nick stuff apart from the new stuff, which I've got uh, steeping. Um, 
Big, 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 big. Uh, lunch, egg, and sandwich, ham and turkey, ham and turkey salad with turkey uh, salad. Uh, What's up an egg with that? Do the Pardon? turkey egg with chicken egg? No, no, no egg. egg. No egg. Not a yeah. salad. What about onion? Yeah, uh, yeah, red onion, red onion with sumac. Red right onion. On. Sumac, sumac onions what, is one. I what is sumac? Have. What is that? That stuff that Mark uh, Mark White's always on about. So, a sumac. It's uh, yeah, it's Turkish. It's a berry thing, and they crush it up and dry it, and then and then you, you like you put it on, and it's like kind of sweet and fragrant and kind of a little bit uh, citrusy. Well, you oh, know, you, you know, if you like, did you buy the sandwich or have you got sumac at home? I've got. I, I, you would not. You would not believe how much sumac I've got at home. All oh, right. Do you just kind of roll the onion? In it? I don't know how it works. Yeah, you chop the onion and then you just kind of sprinkle it on. You kind of sprinkle, sprinkle, and then but then leave it for a little. bit. you know when you if you if you yeah. salt if you salt onion or you salt fish or you salt yeah yeah just leave it, let it bring draw it out of it. Yeah yeah yeah, and it does exactly that. And it's it's, it's it makes a sandwich, it makes a sandwich from a good sandwich to a great sandwich. Yeah, it's that like sounds tomato, like a great a bit sandwich. Bit of salt or a tomato and leave it, and it looks like that. Any sauce? Yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, just me or just plain me or... Oh, there you go. There's your egg. Cheers. Thank fuck for that. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I think it might be egg-free me or... Nah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not. No? No? Nah. Okay. Uh, so that's what I'm drinking. That's what I'm vaping. That's all I'm vaping. I've just got, I've got the one. Uh, I don't think we're what? even... About vaping. Perfect. Who vapes? One vape. One vape. Just me. One vape. That's it. One guy, one vape. Living on the edge. One man, one boat. I mean, I've got other. I've got no. I've not. I've literally just got this. I could see. I've got other things. I've got other things, but none of them are. None of them. I've got no, this. No, that's one. fair enough. That's the truth. I put me trust in this. Uh, this old DNA forty job. I just work them. Oh, up nuts. down buttons, but you know, you don't need them. No, you need they're them. irrelevant. All up down buttons are gone now. It's, I think it's, it's a flaw. That it's a real flaw on the DNA forty. The up down buttons. The high rate of. Breaking in my hands. So yours just yours is just permanently set where it is. You yeah, yeah. This one is permanently set at thirteen and a half watts. There it is. And uh, I thought you one, said you could you could get in it. <laughs> you, you, know, you can get in this one. You can't get this one's this one's clagged down. Right, this one right. this one's glued. This one's little screws, as you can see there. Um, this one is permanently set at thirteen point four volts. So 13.5, 13.4, fairly similar vapes. Mm. Both got vipers on the top. What's, is there something in this? There's nothing no. hey, I've got multiple vapes, man. Oh, I'm just ready to go. That's... Um, and my, you know what? I don't, I really, I've got a thing. I, I don't like Sundays at all. Even though, Do you not? Know even though it's a weekend. Nah. Oh, uh, you know, no, I think it's because, I don't know what it is. It's because it's the day, they're so long. They're so I think Sunday. Sundays are long. Mm. I think Sundays are short. Like, it's the three o'clock. Oh, really? Five. They're so short. I have to look after your child. No, it's Sundays are long. It's so very... Antique short, yeah. <laughs> um, then you know straight into Monday. Um, yeah, I... Uh, so I don't really like them. So uh, a Sunday would be... A good Sunday would be uh, a good Sunday lunch and then... Oh, do I do perfect? No, I'll just do a good one. A uh, good Sunday lunch uh, followed by sleeping until... Like evening time, and then drinking, and then more sleeping. So just... I agree. That's 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 where I was going. You go like the Sunday afternoon now, right? When you're a, when you're like twenty five, you think oh, I'll never do that. You get to your late thirties, you've had a couple of drinks for your dinner, lie down, watch a shitty film, God, in a second, and then wake up like two hours later. Awesome. Yeah, so it's, it's your best bet. Just get rid of Sundays. Get rid of Sunday. I think it's only because of Mondays. I think I don't like Sundays because of Mondays. No, no, that's not a that's not a good philosophy. I realise that's not a good philosophy. It's it's, it's like fifty percent of your weekend, but still, I don't like them. Uh, and uh, fuck Sundays. Long I never, talk, long I never drink on Sundays unless I take time of the soul. Do you never drink on a Sunday <laughs> unless I have to. That's one of my drinking days. That is Sunday. Uh, no, because I find it. Um, I like to really start Monday like bang. Really? Oh, Whereas I if I ever drink, I'll be like, mm, and then a whole week will be like, just a couple. Take the edge off. Yeah. Have a nap. Anything? I, I mean, Sundays. I I would take heroin all day. Sundays if I could. Just... <laughs> if you weren't addicted, you just knock it off. On Mondays would be horrific. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Nerf was, Nerf was one of them perfect, perfect Sundays where you just have heroin all day. <laughs> you wake up one day morning, fresh as day. Why did I mention heroin at Old Towers and cocaine on, on the uh, cocaine at White Water Valley? <laughs> 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 that would be that sounds like a really good book. Such a dick. Netflix series. Um, okay, uh, so that's <laughs> me. That me, Rich. Rich. Hello. 
Weed? Uh, right, vaping on. How's your weed been? Oh, tremendous and splendid. What are you vaping on? What are you drinking? And what did you have for your lunch? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, vaping on uh, a, a random mixed bag of stuff. I don't know what they even... Oh, the Artery Hive 200 really? with the Nunchuku 2 tank on top. Uh, this is on here because I have the Mesh 2 RDA on the Nunchuku. And it's because it's rainbow, I don't have a lot of rainbow stuff, surprisingly. Mm. Um, uh, Etc. So that's a thing. Inside there, I've got Rick's Voodoo Brew, which I still think is brilliant. Um, this is the MVP5 kit. And in there, I've got a, a tweaked pistache. Tweaked? Mm. Mm. Pistache custard. It? You put custard in it? Pistache custard, get on my level. I'll put custard with anything. Did you put custard in the in that concentrate? I, the kit I sent you? No, 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 no. I was going to say, you whore. No, 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 no. Um, but <laughs> I had a bit, and that's what I do. I put custard in things. Um, so that's what's on this. Also got the Barrage RDA from Asmodus on the top side. Interesting RDA, this. Uh, not... I think not, I'm going to pick up one of those MVPs at um, Expo. Oh, so. You've got a dog. You need one of these. Yeah, yeah, torch. Yeah, torch. Uh, but also, power bank. When you get bored of it, just having a power bank. I know, because it's got the I, USB thing. That's what I used to use the old one for. Holidays, <laughs> charge up the phone, done. I actually think it's a great. I think it's a great model. Yeah, if they've got them at Expo, I'm having one. Yeah, I just, I, I think they're cool. I, they, there's me mega useful if one if you are like me are over this idea that out and about vapes have to be small and I've given yeah, up on that yeah. I just I just have a vape if I can't if it doesn't fit my pocket doesn't matter I carry it no, everywhere I don't care um, just I'm go. a bit over size the size thing um <clears throat> so those things oh and uh, the snow wolf snow wolf what have I got in here oh it's um, juice. That I don't want to tell you about. Um, oh. Well, not because it's a secret, just because I don't like the company. Oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah. It's, I kind of heard you talking about the Snow Wolf, and you're, you're quite a fan. It is fuck ugly. That's the only thing it's got against. Yeah. yeah. I'm it, glad it, it, it doesn't need the wolf on anymore. No. That could just be the name of the company now. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to put a wolf on everything. I don't mind it from this side. Yeah, yeah. that side's not so bad. The other side. And the, this is the worst colour. I've got... This is the worst colour. I always just open the worst colour one. Yeah, yeah, because they do a black one, don't they? Yeah, that doesn't look as bad. No. Yeah, because is the wolf less less visible on the black? Yeah, absolutely. Wolves, wolves absolutely. have been totally spoiled by horrible Crap. people in places. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. What is all of that about? Why do they like What's wolves? The thing? If they What's make the thing this about... slightly sexier, honestly think it would be near perfect. But if she's got on the wolf fleece... He's got on either a cap or shirt with flames on it. But I don't understand it. Uh, what the fuck is that? What, what, what their market sells, what their local market sells. I don't get it at all. I think I've never seen the flame. The first time I saw it, I thought they were in support of firefighters or something. I don't know what I thought the fucking wolf thing was, but yeah, weird. There's that ironic t shirt in there where there's two wolves howling at the moon. People wear them ironically. See yeah. that? No. Yeah. Uh, it's that thing though, isn't it? It's like those blokes who go, I'm so in touch with my feminine side, I'm going to wear pink. Oh, what are you looking at, you fucking cunt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're lovely. It's <laughs> usually, I really it's, enjoy them. It's usually to match their pink face. <laughs> yeah. Their ruddy cheeks. Well, there's a term for that, isn't there? A man with a pink face. Is it? Oh, it's a gammon, isn't it? Yeah, gammon. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the thing. Drinking, I'm about to start this. Uh, it's a, a Shiraz. I don't mind. I don't know. Is it Australian Shiraz? They normally are. Yep. Or South African. Yeah, it's Australian. an Australian Shiraz. That's always good. But that's a good thing. Because if it's French Shiraz, it's awful. So it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a drink. What, what percentage are you looking at? Plenty of sunshine, 30? <clears throat> no, I think it's... Um, 13 and a half. Perfect. That just means it got enough sunshine. If it's 12, just chuck it. But it'll be 
West Coast. Nice, nice. That's why, that's why. Um, yeah, so uh, that's a thing. What else? What was the question? Perfect Sunday. Oh, have I got to do my Perfect Sunday? Uh, <laughs> wake up. Uh, my kids have died. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> the wife's out. Um, the internet is even faster. And I've won the lottery. And I didn't check my ticket on the evening, I checked it in the morning. I like the fact that you think anyone's over the fact that you just said my kids are dead. All right, my kids are busy. The kids have gone to grandma's. <laughs> no one's listening to anything else. <laughs> my kids are dead. <laughs> yeah, and Alton Towers has moved down south. Because no, you don't like it? Well, I'm, uh, I'm not asked. Oh, oh that's great fun. Yeah, too it's old. lovely. You know, it's lovely, but I mean, I don't go out of my way. No, I can't be bothered go. anymore. I, I, do, I used to go every year because. Uh, you I'm, should I'm, go. I can't anymore. I'm so fucking old. Even walking around it, I just can't be asked. I ain't like fuck when it's there. It's not worth it. <laughs> Sorry, they're just jabbed to squat up with you saying what you said. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm happy for this to be used in court <laughs> if anything bad happens. Um, yeah, that was a little joke there. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let's crack, let's crack on. Three of us, and we still did 27 minutes. Um, let's, <laughs> let's crack on. Uh, right, hey, news, you. John. What's right. first in the news? I'm going to go for it. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, I was going to open it, but... <laughs> Somebody said something fucking ludicrous that I forgot to do. Uh, that's fine. Right, this is from Insider, but it doesn't matter, it's been, it is everywhere of today. <clears throat> the creator of the nicotine patch says that anti vaping forces are trying to kill the life saving e cigarette industry. Uh, you could say that Jed Rose has spent his entire career, his entire life even, trying to get people to smoke fewer cigarettes. Uh, uh, Rose's father died at 47 of a smoke-related heart disease. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, since then he's pioneered patches, drugs and vape-like e-cigarette prototypes that target smokers in the hopes that they'll make a switch to get them extra years of life. Um, mm, 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 mm. He says that public health institutions like the American Lung Association and the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Children are overblowing fears about the potential health consequences of vaping in an attempt to quelch an industry that has the potential to save millions of lives. Rose invented the first nicotine patch in 1984. Uh, um, e-cigarettes, e-cigarettes, all this stuff that's really, all this stuff, the really bad stuff that comes out of burning regular cigarettes is something we always want to get away from because it's really the culprit for all those diseases and cancer causing agents in the burning tobacco. Nicotine replacement works to a certain extent, <clears throat> but that was never quite the solution for the true hardcore smokers who really need to light up a cigarette in the morning and go on and smoke a pack a day. I think it's quite incredible that he's come out. I mean, he hasn't actually he kind of sold. I, I know he had the patent and he sold it. Um, I think the first person he treated was his wife. <clears throat> um, and she stopped smoking <clears throat> after he realised that nicotine could be absorbed through your skin. Uh, I think it's quite, that's got to be positive, really. That he's yeah. Insane. This? There's that. been um like with any sort of big outbreak of news because obviously it turned a lot of heads when America began banning it, and you get the immediate reaction or oh, another casualty to vaping articles, and you get uh, finally government takes action, all, all this sort of stuff. But then there's always a little second wave, isn't there, where people, all the non-mainstream news places, they sort of take a another backward sort of step and they go actually let's have a look at this yeah and then, so there's been this. this wave this week of how people realizing through research how ludicrous it is to ban vaping versus well you get smoking. the daily mail <laughs> the daily mail who have got like a thing it's like a circle with sections that just says pro vaping against vaping and they just go 
Yeah. They, well, well, the the Daily Mail, because their business is so online now, they don't care what they, they say, got, when they say they, it, as long as shit. it gets clicks. They're so they, click-driven now. They the even Daily just Mail. picked up an article today <clears throat> and just dropped it without even fixing anything in it. Flavour and flavouring is spelt wrong. It's spelt the American way all the way through. Yeah. But, they, but, uh, but they, were. they they won't even review that. That'll be they'll just it's so click orientated as a company now. It's, uh, um, so yeah, so I've seen quite a few of these and and some like um, I've seen some economic websites as well breaking down the maths on the e-cigarette thing and the uh, tobacco products directive and and versus the actual economic boost of having 5,000 people employed in the country and the VAT, what they're equivalent of VAT on, yeah. on purchasing and yeah so you see this that second wave happening right now um, so yes there's some, there is actually some interesting reads at the moment for ESA I think the other thing that um, the thing that I keep I, I, I'm really finding quite shocking from American uh, friends of mine actually on Facebook, there's this idea because we don't really realise because we, we live in a we, we live in a bubble in the UK just as everybody does in their own country and it becomes quite a thing. Uh, and I've had quite a few American friends say to me, "Is there?" People keep saying this is only America, but has anything happened in the UK? No. Uh, oh. And then they they seem to be this whole misunderstanding. Even in the US, I don't think they really have a popular news outlet, so to speak, that's known for telling the truth. So it's quite difficult. So <clears throat> there's a lot of confusion. Because we're away, we can kind of see and go, well, what do you mean? Is it only America? Of course it is, because you've got this problem. You've got a problem with drugs in cartridges and fake cartridges. And people, that's where it's coming from, because it isn't coming from anywhere else. Yeah. All the base ingredients that we use, <clears throat> all the, the basic ingredients that we use in vaping are the same worldwide. And they're from the same suppliers, so we haven't got it. So it's definitely so, not nicotine. <clears throat> it's like a double so like it's a it's a double problem in America because because they've got a capitalist society, their government make a lot of decisions based on finance. Yeah. Economic things and it, so there's a, there's a big impetus on preserving tobacco companies and their shares etc but also as we've found out the THC pods actually came from a mainstream supplier didn't they Talk two it looks like it's two now and again that will only really happen in such a capitalism driven society absolutely because <laughs> Their the literal moral fabric is makes money make sense. Yeah. So the supplier basically the, the the second supplier who looks like she's about to get uh, the owner of the company who looks like she's about to be prosecuted um, uh, in a different state. It looks like <clears throat> the base ingredient uh, she could save money, so she did that. Yeah. Um, and the other two geniuses who are in prison, if they get done, they're going to get done for corporate manslaughter. And they're going to get every case because they're going to want to disperse these cases. How many? I can't remember there are now, but they're they're getting. Well, there's there's nearly three thousand affected. Right, they're fu- They're going to go to jail forever. They just will <clears throat> because they do like to see. They like like visual justice, so to speak. So there's not that many casualties, but there's three thousand that have had medical effects. Well, you just yeah. So yeah, I mean, we're in, in some serious shit. Um, we knew it, what it wasn't coming from back. I can't street. get rid of this neck, Matt. Mm. I can't get rid of this. You're gonna to have to put my cleavage on, though. <clears throat> you. We knew it was definitely coming out of dispensaries because, as I said on the show a couple of weeks ago, somebody had said, "I only vape. Uh, uh, I get it from a dispensary every single week." So we knew it was coming out of dispensaries, and it wasn't coming from the from the, what they would were terming black market. Which it wasn't. It was coming from normal market. <laughs> It's really scary. If you took that as like chicken sandwiches, <clears throat> if we said that everyone has chicken sandwiches all the time and chicken sandwiches are two quid, then all everybody's going to try and get the cost price as low as possible to get the, the chi- so you come to their chicken, you know, and that's, you've done that. 
it it did idea. it did raise eyebrows that it was so widespread so quick because mm -hmm. black market would be insanely localized. But they didn't see it. No, they didn't see it for a long time. They didn't see it. I, I just think it's sad. Anyway, uh, kind of moving away from the point that we haven't really got America covered this week. If you do, I would definitely go and see Nick Grim Green. There's a video on YouTube where he's on a morning show in America. It's definitely worth watching. Yeah, if you go to um, Grim Green, Nick Grim Green's Twitter page, he's posted the full video. Um, yeah. There's clips everywhere, but yeah, if you the, the full 10 minute segment um, of uh, Nick on um, American Morning Breakfast Show. Um, is available by a link on his Twitter page. You have to scroll down a little bit, but it's there. And I think, uh, did you guys watch it? Yeah, I've seen it. Did you watch it, James? No, I've recently unfollowed Nick Grim Green on Twitter, I'm afraid. <laughs> too much, it was just too much, it was too much. Yes, yeah, I, I appreciate that. But, but I, I thought it was interesting, I, I thought it was an interesting um, video. I think he did well. I, I think, think he did brilliant. Yeah, I think I've seen... There was another video which I didn't appreciate. I'm really sorry if, if anybody watching and you know the guy. There was a they were having one of these court hearings or a, a local governor hearing, and the guy who lost his shit and was like really angry and bound on the table. I know how everybody feels, but he did not help. It, it made it worse. No, Nick so, went in there with a clear intention to remain very cool, very calm. Yeah, and he did. I think he did really well. Um, so the, for, for people that haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's just a 10-minute video of Nick on Morning TV. Um, they, it's him, uh, a broadcaster, a news anchor, and um, a, a, a scientist doctor. Mm. Um, We've got all of those. There's one coming up. We've got the British version of that coming up in the show later. We, but, I mean, that's we, the, you have to put the quotation marks up now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but what, what, what I found, I, I thought Nick did a great job. Uh, it was all the usual stuff. I think they thought they were getting a soft touch. Yeah, I'd be, because I'd be of the way touch. Nick looks. Yeah, and and that's uh, no discredit to him at all. But I think he doesn't look like such a well-spoken and intelligent person. Mm. He looks. He looks like he looks. He doesn't look quite like that, and no. I don't mean any offence by that. I think that I think they didn't think they were getting such an educated. If person. they'd have just clicked back, they'd have seen when Nick was a croupier in a, a dealer at, at the start of his videos, and you'd have seen what Nick looked like before he went full time with the with the vape industry, and he would have, you know, he didn't look like that. Yeah. So, and uh, but but the most striking thing, although we've seen it a thousand times. The most striking thing, and I said it to you guys, was how professionally and well misinformed the scientist is. Yeah. She's just got these things just ready to go. Yeah. She's got popcorn lung ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Miss, I did like, so, miss advertising, advertising to kids, ready to go. She, it's all on tap. So Q, 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 Q. And she believes this. Yeah, it was she, the takedown with popcorn lung was brilliantly done. I, the only the, the bit I would have uh, I wanted Nick to add is there's actually been no cases of popcorn lung ever caused by it's no never proven to be caused. No, by he it, said so. that. He said it. No, no, no. But I mean, in the world, ever. ever he said. No, but I mean, even caused by popcorn, it that by the that drug it, by the chemical, it wasn't ever. So, but I, he did say that millions of people smoke and they're. And the and the uh, levels are so much higher in cigarettes, and no one's ever got popcorn yeah. lung. So yeah, I do agree. It was yeah, great. you're right. He could. I mean, yeah, he could have gone. I think. I think we could have gone super. It wasn't proven in the court case. The popcorn lung. The, the no, you're one. you're 100 correct. I I think he wanted to stay on message. Yeah, I agree. I totally because agree. he could have got into a, a huge rant about any of the points she brought. Yeah, and he, totally. he just kind of want. You see, it's almost like he specifically wants to stay really calm and just bat back every answer. <laughs> Rather than actually dissect them, but uh, very interesting, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, well, and kudos. Um, I, I don't know, is Nick uh, Expo this year or not? He don't know, I don't know. Anyway, right, we're gonna have to shift on because we're doing the normal thing we do, Rich Smock. Oh, yeah, okay, so, um, Smock, Smock, we never talk about Smock on this program unless we're just in general chat, we never show their new stuff, we never talk about them. However, I think they had some balls up, didn't they? 2017 wasn't their best I think, year. Um, 
I think 2017, 2018, they went really hard down a certain path. Mm. And it really was the complete opposite path to our path, wasn't it? No, no. But they, they had lots of shit products as well. Um, oh, yeah. They had, they had some two real bad mods stuff. that with recalls all over the place. So they didn't. That's, really that's very true. And, you know, you talk to, uh, to people who work in vape shops about smock. And they'll often have a bad story or a bad. They've normally got a box full of returns. Yeah, and th those sorts of issues. They've had their. They've definitely had their moments. I mean, the uh, my f first proper, proper, proper mod was the Smock Groove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was the first <coughs> ever mainstream mod to be officially recalled by a manufacturer in vaping history, um, because if you dropped it a certain way, it would set fire. Yes, because it was one of the first mods to ever use a lipo battery, um, and they did, they didn't protect the case well. Anyway, um, so that's a thing. But they went down a, a really certain path, and we sort of stopped talking about them. But in the in that time, they actually produced a coil that a lot of people in the shed, a lot of people in our group, are in the areas we we frequent, actually really like the Nord coil, has just grown and grown in popularity. And traction, so it almost seems like in 2019, Smock have gone. We are set, except there's two different routes you can go down with your thing, and they seem to be pandering to both. Yeah. Um. So I've got two new, really brand brand new releases from Smock, and they're both completely down the opposite thing. I've put them in drive. You guys want to see? Oh, thank but you. The first one uh, is uh, a stabilized wood pod system using the Nord coils. Uh, stabilized wood pods using the the Nord kit, the Nord pod kit, it. and it's on screen now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's uh, if people a lot of people are really digging these coils, these Nord coils, these low wattage Nord coils. Um, and so it's now, very so similar. now if you want it in a sexy stabilized uh, system, then. Uh, it's, it's it looks really thing. similar to the not not stabilized, but the Inakin they did a pod thing. Yeah, shape wise, yeah. Yeah, yeah, similar. similar yeah, shape. absolutely. Uh, so that's coming out. If you're a huge fan of the Nord, you might want to have a look at that. Um, and then on the complete opposite of the Smock Spectrum, they have this the latest Mag kit, the Mag P3. Um, it's called the mag because it's kind of like a gun magazine, yes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, but I think they've stayed just on the right side of it. They've had a couple of, they've done a couple of shitty gun pistol. I think the very well. first version literally popped out like uh, the batteries yeah. came out like it, but they 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 pulled back from that. Yeah, and that's that's it's just idea. a latch on the battery thing now. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't. Look, I mean, it's not my kind of thing, but it doesn't look like a gun. Uh, uh, no, pistol grip anymore. Just, yeah, it's just like a a handle now. Um, yes, but it's a fully color screen, dual eighteen six fifty, two hundred thirty watt mod, color screen, big screen, big sub tank on top, and that's the the other thing they've just released. So, I think that's fair play. I think that's that's smart business, really, uh, to mm -hmm. to be pushing both sections of their business uh, at the same time. But apparently, the Nord, apparently the Nord coils are great. First tank I ever had was a Smock Carto tank. Okay, yeah. they're a with proper a old school. school company. They are, yeah, yeah. Oh, Apparently, no. they were the first. Um, when everyone was trying to do a sub tank, apparently it was Smock making all of those sub tank coils. Was it really? Apparently, yeah. Um, they so do they have... ha they had a massive dominance, secret dominance for, for a little while. They had um, a massive. They'd got a massive catalogue of coils i mean even now even yeah. their current they've got 16 coils currently on the market yeah 16 that's yeah. a fuck ton that's not including variables with i was just talking about the coil design so each one if it comes in four different mortgages or four different uh resistances who was the, who was the who was the atlantis aspire uh, yeah aspire. so they did theirs and then everyone else tried to replicate and they all used smock for it so you know, as mode as sub tank was actually a smock coil and horizon tech and uh, you know all those people but uh, eventually they all made their own but there was a little window where they got really rich really quick yeah 
Um, I said just yeah. a chain for the fuck up in the middle, but we, we everyone has a little bit of a fuck up sometimes. James, when you're a big fan, John. You you use a smock device all the time. I do smock guardian. Oh yeah. Mm. I, it does. It, it. I have repaired the Smart Guardian three about fifty times so far. Yeah, must be. It must be an easily repairable user thing that you can do, though. Yeah, it's got lots of. It's basically made of glue now. This mod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, but, like so many high end mods of uh, yesteryear. Yeah. Yes. No, well, no, no e sig is forever, is it? This one's not. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's. Yes, yeah, good. James. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, some exciting, exciting, exciting news this week released. Uh, I'm sure many, many people have already seen this, but for those who haven't, and we do have some exclusive pictures. This is the new one from Osrix from Benji Lint at Osrix. It's kind of an ex it's an next step kite, and it is called the Kia 65. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we should have some pictures. We should have lots of pictures. On screen now. Beautiful. So a couple of them are the ones that were released uh, on uh, on the Osrix Facebook page, and then we've got some extra ones from uh, from Benji himself. So this is the, the 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 next the next version of the kite. This is a another two part. This is a, another two part design. Obviously, you you had the the half, which um, was two halves, and this is a similar sort of thing. Another two part oh, design. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It splits at the bottom there. You can see that. So it's basically a kite with an extension, almost sort of thing. It's very similar to the to the original kite, the, the top half. And then you've got a second half uh, with a little inlay uh, at, at the join. Uh, so it's a, it's an eighteen six fifty positive up. It's an MM click fit, which is the five clicks on, five clicks off, uh, hundred amp limits down to zero point one ohms. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the internals are solid silver. All the wiring, all the tracing is is solid silver, and uh, you are able to get a matching switch. There's a matching switch and a matching accent, so they're kind of the little accent I'm talking about. But these are all uh, the, the three pieces, which is well, I'm going to say three, the four including the switch, which is the top half, the bottom half, the accent, and the button. They are all going to be available in different colours and modes and that sort of thing. I'm not saying you're going to be able to necessarily mix and match them, although some people did that with the half, so this might well be possible with the K65. Uh, I have got some dimensions for you. It's uh, it's not it's not a big it's not a big mod at all. It's not a big mod. It at looks all. when it's on its own, it looks big, and then when it's in when it's in uh, Mickey Mouse's hand, it looks small. That's what I loved about the pictures I got from Benji this afternoon. They are they kind of show that because it does it looks like a big tall boy. Them initial them initial photos are tall. Yeah, Benji's tiny. He's with in it. my pocket at the moment. It's because with it's so it. thin. It's because it's such a it's such a thin mod. It looks tall. And especially with it being um, you know stabilized wood or whatever. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll see what materials are going to be available in just a sec. Uh, the dimensions are it's eighty seven point five. Uh, this is millimeters by forty by twenty six. And uh, it's going to be available really soon. The, the pictures that you're looking at there, they are the very last of that, that's like the, the the last of the prototypes. The fit and finish on the on the production model might, will be better than this. Will be better than this. this. This is still that's still the last of the prototypes that you're looking at there. Uh, so remember that that, that when you stupid, uh, when you see. question. Um, what are we looking at? A switch fit? It is. Uh, it's an MM click fit. Right. One meter click fed, so five clicks on, five clicks off, 100 amp limit down to 0.1 um, ohms. Nice. Um, these are going to be available in just like the um, well, not as long as just like the half, is that yeah, yeah, just like the half. I mean, obviously, there was the 3D printed half, there's not going to be this. But these are going to be available in Delrin at 220 pounds, they're also going to be available in uh, Juma and Stabwood, and they're going to be at 250 pounds. So, 220 for the Delrin, 250 for the Stabwood or the Juma. Uh, and I think it's a really bonny looking mod. I think it with the little inlay kind of sets it apart from everything. I mean, obviously, the shape is quite kite like, but when the kite came out, that was different from a lot, a lot of things. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a real stunning looking piece of uh, yeah. kit. As, as is all of, uh, he doesn't really put a foot wrong, uh, no. Benji at Osrix. Nice. What do you chaps think? I think it looks good. I think um, it will look even better when they're out there and people are putting their own stuff on. So I think yes. it'll look really good with like the new K Fun light, or because that's quite a tall tank on it. 
uh, yeah. in the pictures. I think it looked really nice with the little tanks and little RDAs and stuff. Uh, I think <coughs> I, it's, think, I think it's handsome. I, th I always think it's fantastic watching um, British mod makers continually innovating. Always makes me happy, and I like Benji, and I like the mod, and I, I really look looking forward to seeing the production as well. I haven't seen a kite in the flesh, but I'm assuming oh, it's never. predominantly thumb fire. Yeah, it's a thumber, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we love Benji. Benji, friend of the show. Yeah, nice guy. Absolutely. Lovely. And the most demure of the mod makers, I, I reckon. <laughs> he is. He's I remember standing next to him for half an no, hour. They, and they're usually like, big extroverts, aren't they? Ah, oh, terrible extroverts. Yes, I like it, though. Uh, looking forward to seeing some yeah, <laughs> in the real world. Jolly, jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. Uh, I think we're back. Are we, what are we doing? Who, who, who I are don't doing? know. I just bunged her in there. I, mean, I can talk about this next one as well, if you'd like. Are you going to yep. CSM? Oh, it? yeah. Yeah, because this is because this is kind of a little Brit British uh, mod maker section. So we've just had Benji's. Uh, latest. Have, we, have we had him confirm yet for Expo yes, yes, This is this this is hot, steaming steaming hot off the press. This is um, we looked at a few we looked at it a few weeks ago. I've got several brands back in new pictures. Before we had blurry pictures because I wasn't actually the actual thing. However, we have now got brands back brands back in production pictures which are going to be available to buy this weekend if you are in expo if you are at expo um is this the pogo this is the po we've got a name we didn't have a name last time we've now got it we've now got a name and the name makes i'll, I'll explain the name in just a uh, just a, a sec okay so this is the pogo from chris scott mods mckenzie mods uh this is a new 18350 we showed it on the show uh, about three or four weeks ago but like i said there were all pixel the pictures i wasn't like actually show you the production the, the pre-production models um and this is uh this is another mosfet mod so you, you've got your general mosfet -y things it's got the mod meter 510 in there it is a carbon fiber exposed tube uh, with a little bit of a fancy base. I say a little bit of a fancy base. I love the base. We have got a picture of the base. Can you get, can you get that one on screen? It's, it's the blurry one. I've just focused on the on the, on the the pin. Okay, beautiful. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. So the, the base is completely magnetic. So uh, I think what Chris had in mind with this was 18350. Don't, you don't get a lot of runtime out of them. You, don't, you want a nice, easy, quick way of changing your batteries over there. So the uh, battery release mechanism is just magnetic. It's purely magnetic. And it's also kind of an on off switch because what you've got there is the, that little pogo pin, uh, which is the little brass pin you can see hopefully there. Mm -hmm. And that pogo pin uh, leads directly to the, uh, well, obviously via the MOSFET, but that's, that's kind of that's your, your positive um, connection there, which then leads to the positive on your battery on the on the base of that, um, on that base plate sort of thing. And that kind of turns it on, traps your battery in there, and uh, and there's no need for screws, no turny things, no nothing like that. It's purely magnetic. And I think it's an absolutely brilliant idea. It's a little bit innovative. Uh, yeah. That's what I love it. about Chris, though. You'll always do something different. Yep. You know, I still remember the first time. Well, I saw, first time I saw his pipe, and the first yeah, time regular I saw pipe. But even just the first person to, they were everyone was using um, the mod maker. It wasn't mod maker, but mod maker distributed um, switch vet that was yep. had an on off switch. Yep. And everyone, all the mod makers, I'm not digging them out. All the mod makers were like, unfortunately, it's no way of getting to the mod, the, the, the switch vet. So it's always on. You can't you can't switch it off. He was, in, And then he did the clicker. Yeah. Where you pull the face off, on off switch. And yep. it had a very clever button built into the thing. And he, he, always, he always pushes it. He always changes it. I remember standing in the pub and he passed me the clicker. I'd have been at Expo all day looking at everybody's stuff and it was great. <clears throat> and then Chris had got the uh, proto with him for the for the clicker mm. and he gave it to me and I just went, ah, nobody, nobody's got anywhere near this today. It's the best yeah. thing I've seen. It's incredible. Yeah. Yep. So yep. I'm glad. I'm so great. And they've got, don't forget, there is a modders block this year at Expo The Return. Yeah. So do go over there and do see Chris. <clears throat> Because loads of the woods that we see and loads of the mods are made by Chris too. So, yeah, I mean these here, these here are um, all available in stabilized wood. Way God's sake, man! Look at him just rocking up all pissed. <laughs> His jammers on. Can he even hear us? Can he hear uh, us? 
Hi. Hi, gentlemen. Did you forget? Hi, I, I may it's have it's nodded Thursday. off. I may have nodded off on the couch after dinner. <laughs> My, got some my, excellent, my. excellent news for you, Brad. Excellent, excellent news. We've had a little bit of a vote, and you are sacked. <laughs> <laughs> so next Perfect. Thursday, you got no worries at all. No worries at all. Thank you. I, I, I really, I, I really like Brad with this look. Don't bye bye. Stay, no, <laughs> stay there. I really like Brad looking like that. So we can... <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, gents. Uh, had a nice big dinner and fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> Completely understand. Uh, that's really um, awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, yeah. You just missed the pogo. Yeah. Now you have to watch oh. the show now. Damn so, yeah, so, so they are, they are all stabilised. They are going to be available this weekend. And they are, they're, a, they're a good price. Oh, they're a damn good price. Would you like another price? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. 125 Fuck me. Wow. That's good. And as with mm. all, Handmade 18350 mods, you've got to see them in the flesh because that will it'll be fucking tiny, it'll be honest. beautiful. 125. If you're at Expo the Return this weekend, it's a, one. It's a stiff carbon well, fiber, tube, carbon, fi Scott. carbon fiber, hand stabilized wood by the, the main man himself, Chris, Chris Mod, all handmade, click fed, innovative battery cover. I mean, the, we, we, a few months ago, we, we've had, we brought other um, we brought other high end eighteen three fifty star woods. They were doubled and some, yeah, yeah. and some. This is one two five. That's that's this weekend at Expo. That's not necessarily going to be the price all the time. Uh, so if you are there, I would oh, mm -hmm. take his hand off, take his hand off. He, he wasn't going to he wasn't going to charge that much. I'll be honest with you, he wasn't going to charge that much at the one two five. They, 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 they go, they're worth more than that. They're definitely worth more than that. Uh, okay. And, and go in general, if you're at Expo, go and spot the modders block. Go and say hi. Go have a chat. Go see them. Yeah, towards. Because, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really good that they're doing that. Really, really. Okay. Uh, I think, should we, should we, I, I can't do three in a row. John, should we go over to you, John? John, I he can't hear us. can't hear us. What, what a professional outfit doing. we are. What a professional outfit. Put your headphones in, John. What's he about? Was, what's he about? He's, he's about he's about Star Wars, Northerners one. Northerners, yeah. Put your headphones in, John. Right, John, it's you, Northerners one. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hi, hi everybody. Hello. How are you? I can't really go wrong tonight. My Brad's just done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everybody looks really good, <laughs> relatively speaking. Uh, I don't just you know, I just caught this today, and I I, I, I was just. Good shot. Um, this is news straight from Blackpool. Here we go. Yeah, I don't care. Vegas, the Vegas of England. Yeah, sort of. Fuck off. What right. do you mean, sort of? It's not, is it? Sort of shithole. Have you been to Vegas? <laughs> no, but I've been to Blackpool. I, I kind of I like chintzy seaside towns, but even Blackpool, even for me, Blackpool pushes it somewhat. Um, right, Black. This is an amazing. Just as a headline, Blackpool's Blackpool Health Chiefs warning over vaping. I was like, I'm intrigued. <laughs> they've got they've got a health chief in Blackpool. One of Blackpool's top doctors has aired his concerns over the safety of vaping and fierce products are being aimed at young people who have never previously smoked. It's all based on nothing. Blackpool mm. Health Council... It's a very healthy town. Yeah, have you seen it? It's basically yeah. made of chips. Black Candy floss. Chips and rock. There's a rock, which is just sugar. It's just sugar. <laughs> Call it sugar. You've never... Hot honestly, dogs. And Carly Black Label. Uh, donuts. Isn't the rock Black deep fried? Yeah. <laughs> Blackpool's Black, Blackpool Council's Director of Public Health, Dr. Arif Rajpura, says not enough is yet known about the long-term effects of using e-cigarettes, although Public Health England has said vaping is far less, less harmful than smoking tobacco. Dr. Rajpura said, told the meeting of Blackpool's Council, Blackpool Council's Adult Social Care and Health Scrutiny Committee, I mean, fuck me, I 
I can, I can too. Well, I can to a degree accept vaping is likely to be safe from smoking, but we don't know what the long term impact is. We haven't got the figures. They have fuck face. What sort? What's the sort? Where are you reading this from? The source. The source is obviously <laughs> the Gazette of Blackpool. Blackpool Gazette. Blackpool Gazette. I'm just amazed. It just really amazed me. This this local fucking doctor had just decided to uh, push. I'm not going to read the rest of it. It's just shit. Um. Uh, just decided he was a health official. He's just a just a doctor. Uh, no, he's not a. Uh, 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 it doesn't work in pulmonary stuff. He's just a dickhead. Yeah. Anyway, the health official of Blackpool, which is an idiom, doesn't like vaping. No one cares. James. Yes. And Hello. Our thank mods. you. Uh, and our <coughs> we've got some more. Got some more mod news. More mod news. This came into my feed on Facebook. I can't remember where I might have been. On the shed, I, I often steal things from the shed. But I want you to get your info. Doesn't matter where you get info from, as long as you've got your info. Um, uh, this is the uh, Telly's Mod. I never even heard of these. I, I'll be honest with you, I'd never even heard of these until uh, this week. This is Telly's Mod uh, Hero. We should have some oh, pictures. I thought you were going for the NR. I thought we got an NR. No, no, no. I've got, I, went, I went up one. I didn't want to oh. do three in a row. I didn't want to. I, I, for some reason, this is, this is my favourite mod of the week. Telly's mod. I've never heard all, of me. All, all jammed together. Look here. Uh, hopefully, we shall have some pictures, Rich. Yep. On screen. Uh, oh, beautiful. Mm, <laughs> on screen now. Lovely. Excellent. So, this is, and this is a regulated mod. This is a regulated mod. You know, I, I love a regulated mod, me. Uh, this is the hero from Telly's Vape. Uh, Telly, sorry, Telly's mod. Telly's mods. Never heard of them. Mostly, I've never, never heard of them. Never, 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 never. And this is uh, let's check my notes here. This is an eighteen six fifty uh, by Cord's uh, BF sixty board in there, a fully machined from aluminium. It's a beautiful looking. I think it's a great looking mod. Absolutely great looking mod. Uh, what, have, what else have I got? I've got uh, rotate the ring to lock and unlock the me mechanical adjustment system. Kind of you can move the 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 the, the you uh, add it up and down a bit, I think. I think that's the general gist. I think you can move your air out, can't you? You can move your air. I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether it's up we get more even more up we down than that. I know a lot of them are just for uh, just new air. I don't know how up we down this is. Everything I, everything I've, that I'm, I've got here has all been like Google translated, so it's notes or sketchy as. Uh, so it's 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 the die code BF60, uh, which is a 60 watt uh, board. TC mod, blah, 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 fully machined, it's fully CNC'd, made in Italy. Uh, price is price. Anybody gets the price? 200. Three, 350. It's 399 euros. Um, 389 euros? 399 euros. 400, 400 euros. And that, that's, uh, that includes taxes, but that doesn't include shipment. So it's going to be close to 400 quid landed, I'm guessing. Which is it's a little steep, it's a little steep. It's a beautiful looking mod, though. It's a really, really bonny looking mod. Uh, uh, it's 130 grams. It's, it's, it's quite the lightweight mod, would have been all aluminium. The, the, the people love the board, and they've been on the, on the go ages. Die codes, that's how I'm pronouncing it. Die code, die, yeah, die code is die codes. Um, what's the turny bit then? The the turning, turning. Could, you could you add it on the top, wheel. and uh, we're not entirely sure how how turning that because the information say the information I got is it's all translated. It doesn't give us a, any information to whether that how how adjustable that is. Whether it's just for airflow, because obviously you don't want your airflow facing towards the mod, or whether you can actually up and down it to try, try and sort of level mm. actual. Um, yeah, yeah, I suppose you could level it up. Yeah, I need to the top. People like that kind of flush look, don't they? I'm not entirely sure how level of a world that is. I will say 100 euros cheaper would have been a, a, a big step. Uh, uh, what, uh, it depends I, on numbers, doesn't it? And, and yeah, I think if, these, if there's only these, ever going to be 100 of them, then these are going to be. Will, really it, it, will, it will have cost a fucking fortune, won't it? Yeah, I, yeah, I've, jo really I've joined the group, the, um, the Telly's Mod group, and I think there's only like 400 members or something like that. They're on Facebook, they're on Facebook. I mean, they've got a website, but they're also on Facebook. It's, it's really they pretty. Are small numbers, small, tiny, itsy yeah. bitsy. You're not going to, if you want, if you want in uh, uh, Expo, you're almost guaranteed you're going to be the only dude with one of these. Mm. Um, 
I'm not sure whether that means anything in Expo, but you know, you you, you want to you walk, walking with an Asmoda, she'd be the only one. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the Telly's Mod Hero. It's uh, they've got a Facebook group, they've got a website. Uh, if you go and it's Telly's, as in it belongs to Telly. It's T E L L I <laughs> apostrophe S. It's Telly's Mod. Uh, you know, like uh, Reese's Pieces. Um, Cracking like that, like that. <laughs> Loving it. It's four hundred euros. It's, uh, it's it's quite nice looking. It's a very popular board. Um, I wouldn't be grudge having one. But I, I couldn't stretch to that. Andy D uh, thinks that you'd want the blowy Rich was talking about earlier. Yeah, it not, wasn't a general off. offer. No, it wasn't. Oh, he did he did put open brackets, not off Rich. Close your brackets. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, three no nines a lot for, for that. But he, he is gorgeous. Can't knock that. Part of me wants to know what Brad has had for dinner. <laughs> It's got to be meat based, doesn't it? If it induced the old nap, <coughs> it was very, very boring. It was actually just a, a curry, but I probably should have stopped after the second bowl. Going back for the third was yeah. my own fault. It's a vol volume issue. Yeah, it's it's a it's a volume quantity mass. Yeah, <laughs> I quite I like the fact he looks like a hamster that's been sort of like aggravated by a child. Sort of tossed out of You're not sleeping. It's time to get up, motherfucker. Well, I, well, when I do get off the show, I'm going to ask who put baby to bed because <laughs> when I went to sleep, yeah. our house was very busy. <laughs> what a life you live, Brad. What a life I woke you up live. cold and alone on the couch. So I, cold and that sounds that sounds idyllic. Idyllic. Sounds like a perfect Sunday, Jake. Perfect just for the run sheet, do you want to do? Do you want me to jump in and then you do the tips and yes. and art at the same time? Yeah, yeah, go on then. Okay, uh, it was just just a really really quick one because I just noticed them being referenced lots and lots and lots in the last uh, week or so, especially in the UK. Uh, you have to be we have to be super wary. We've done this a, a lot in the past. We've talked we've talked about advocacy and and who who we feel you should support and who we feel you shouldn't uh, when it comes to advocacy. Well, you're not, no, you shouldn't. Anyway, you, sh you need to know the information. The IBVTA um, is the Independent British Vaping Trade Association, which is what we, we've spoken about a lot in the past. Brad keeps sending messages and they keep popping up on the screen because a tit. Um, That's right, sorry. Brad. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. So, Friendly. right, the Independent British Vaping Trade Association is what we've talked about before. It's the IBBTA, which is what who Gary Dibley used to work for and we've championed them in the past. Seriously, if you're not following the IBBTA Facebook page, that's Indigo Brava. Victor Tango Alpha, go and follow that um, if, if you're looking for proper independent information. Lots of people are picking up what seems like a pro vaping uh, thing and putting it up. Uh, it's from the UK VIA. Um, they are um, shitheads. Uh, members of which are uh, Philip Morris, um, uh, the British American Tobacco, Imperial Tobacco. They are not your friends. Stop picking up their shit. And linking it and sticking it everywhere, we can go through the argument. Uh, you know, whatever we can say, uh, should you be is vaping, vaping. But don't forget, Philip Morris are also use heat, not burn. The and they push it. UKVIA have refused to take a stand to separate not only uh, heat not burned from vaping, but they also won't take snuzz away from the table either. They are not your friends. They are fuckheads. If you see the UK BIA and you see some things, just 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 ignore it and move on because they, they will not do you a favour in the future. I promise they won't. <coughs> too and, and just in general, it, it just in general, do go and like, follow that page. 
because the IBVTA. IBVTA need as much support and volume as possible. Yeah, what, that if you know you don't have to do a lot in the UK to support no. the whole thing, but the bigger their audience, the better it is for them when they go and talk to people, getting through doors of places. If you know a vape shop or a chain of vape shops or a favorite vape website, tell that website, tell that shop about the IBVTA because the bigger they get and the more followers they have, the better it is because they are constantly fighting behind the scenes for yeah. vape. And they, they, in, they, in they literally have a direct line to the government, <coughs> the IBVTA. They've been incredibly influential over the years without yeah. blowing their own trumpet. Absolutely. Uh, they, they champion things like leak-proof tanks, which you may not. Uh, we talk about things and we everybody like, laughs and jokes about things. We were so close to closed systems until it was pointed out that it, physics made it impossible to have a non... Uh, uh, a, a leak-proof tank, which it might seem... A leak-proof refill system, sorry, which would have caused all manner of shit. So all your big bottles and everything else and da 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 yeah, yeah and the, is, the list is endless. For example, in Italy and a couple of other places in Europe, they have the child safety rule on tanks. So there has to be an additional mechanism on tanks preventing children from opening them. And uh, Germany That's said hot. no to that, and France said no to that. <clears throat> and it was the IBVTA in the UK that got the UK government to agree that that was pointless. Um, so, because it's 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 unfathomable for most vapors out to open the tank. <laughs> never mind uh, children. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I can assure you that the UK BIA would be well on side with the flavour ban. So they're not your friends. They will they will mm. ruin the industry in the UK if you allow them. To yeah, they, they. Yeah, they. they are. Uh, shall we shall we all send them are. some hate? Now? <laughs> no, just don't support them and don't oh, follow yeah. them. And don't like their posts and point it out. If somebody posts, if somebody's a link up from their bullshit. <laughs> Point out what it is, and that is the UK. BIA. Yeah, they're the baddies. They're like gamble aware and drink aware. And yeah, they're shitheads. Paid they're for owned. by the industry that we're actually all trying to run away from. Yep, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Sorry, thought I'd just bum everybody out and then go, James, go. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's my normal move. Okay, I've got two. I've got two things to to, uh, to end with here. Um, first one, I, I will look at the drip tips. I think first, Rich, if you wouldn't mind popping that on screen for Ooh, me. Drip tips. These are these are these. I, I can't know. see them. I can't see them in your. They are definitely there. I'm what seeing are, that. What are they called? They are called uh, KS tips or something like that. Oh yes. Got them on screen uh, now. I wouldn't normally, I mean, I, I have mentioned Hellfire tips in the past because I'm a big fan of Hellfire. I wouldn't normally mention drip tips, but these were some of the swankiest look and drip tips I have ever that seen harsh. in my life. Yet yeah, these are key S drip tips. Uh, they've, got a, they've got a Facebook group uh, called key S drip tips, I think. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's right, Andy. Um, <laughs> and these are black ultimate stainless steel. That's uh, that's not Delrin, that's black that's black ultimate you see in there. Mm. And I just think they are so swish looking. They're I mean they're a little bit big for me. However, if you if you've got a t you know for for a for a viper, but, but if you've got a, a, one of the larger tank systems, I think these will look absolutely sweet as a nut on there. I think I, I am gonna price on them, they've just literally been released. The pictures today are matchy on matchy on a save, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think they, they look great on that sort of thing. I really think they look, look absolutely uh, splendid on that sort of thing. So these are Black Oldham and Stainless Steel. I think the beast, uh, in my eyes, the beast on the, on the chest piece, that's why they're called the king. Right. Um, and it's, I mean, quite loosely, quite loosely. We have had um, more chessy uh, drip tips uh, out there in the past uh, pawns and rooks and that sort of thing. Uh, but I, th I just think these are super swish looking. And not just that, I, I wrote this down as well because uh, on the group, the, the, and they do a lot of tips, but they also add some solid amber tips on there and they are, they are looked absolutely cracking as well. Um, so if you're, if you're a fan of a swanky drip tip, that's Key S Drip Tips, I think, on Facebook. Give them a search, have a little look. Uh, the, the kind of a low volume... Swanky drip tip company, I think. Um, have a look, I used have a look. to be really, really, like... I used to be really against it. I used to be like, huh. 
you know, oh, why, you know, fucking hell, you just suck it. What's the point? And all that. Yeah. But but now I feel like because I have a handful of vapes, and I permanently vape, and it's a complete kit. You know, almost the, you know, the the black goon will never leave the bassian, for example. And I love that I've got a perfect matching drip tip for it. You know, if you've got a setup that is permanent, why not have the perfect drip tip to match that? You know, so I'm all for it. Now. Yeah. Absolutely, and. <laughs> It's not. I mean, I, I know with with uh, ear ten drip tips. I don't know how much difference it really makes. I've got very little uh, experience with ear tens, but certainly with five ten drip tips, I think. And and the mouth to lung experience, a good drip tip can make not just the feel in your mouth, not just uh, how it's how it sits in your mouth, but the bore and the length and all of them sort of things make a massive difference to the actual overall vape. So it's spend, pretty surprising, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, you spend a lot of money on your, on your other vape gear. Why not spend a little bit on a, on a nice looking drip tip as well? Um, there was, a, there was a tank about a year ago and uh, everyone was complaining it whistled and it turned out it was actually the drip tip that came with it that whistled. Uh, Some sort of surprised. weird fitting on it. like and uh, And everyone put a different drip tip on, problem solved. Like, magic, magic. Yeah, good stuff. Really good but it stuff. Can have, uh, it can massively affect the vape. How uh, really, really can. And, and, it, and it took me a few years to realize that. It took me a few. I was just using any old cheap old KM uh drip tip. Uh, but yeah, that's why I use the whistles. I really like them. So, uh, so that's that's me super push drip tip. And then we've got one last thing. This this is the, the possibly the craziest thing of the week. Uh, Rich, we should have some pictures. This is an unnamed mod. It's a proto. We've shown other stuff. This is from NR Mods, uh, from Nicky. He's, he's, he's a normal, he's a member of the group. And, uh, and, he, and he, he, produce, he produces a lot of mods. Well, I say he produces, he, he designs a lot, a lot of mods. I don't know how many of them actually produces. And some great designs. However, this was his wacky idea this week. This is an 18350, another 18350 uh, mod. Uh, kind of a side by side. You can see, have you got pictures on screen, Rich? Yep. Beautiful. So these are all his renders here. Uh, but um, but he decided uh, the side by side bit. That's 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 not that's not an 18650 battery in there. That's for storing a couple of extra 18350. So rather than using the 18650 battery, you put your 18350 in the bottom, then you store a couple of spare. Now is this crazy? Yes. Pure yes. Stuff, that's all it does. That's literally all it is. It's just, just storage. You, it's not connected to anything in any way. Shit, I thought, Brad! I'm at a loss for words. What do you think of this? So it's, it's an 18... 350 mod. 18, 350, but the size of a 21-700. With a, with a board. Side by side. Yeah, because don't forget, there's a gap under the attic. Yeah, well. there's yeah, there's not yeah. a there's not a board in there. There's not a board in there. Uh, <laughs> no, but I just meant if it was a if it was an eight if it was a yeah 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 oh yeah 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 I know exactly. Fit one in. <laughs> he's put he's put mech. he's put an eighteen three fifty Mac in a container for carrying two other eighteen three fifty yes batteries. Yeah. It's also he kind of just to kind of is it like going to try and be pleasant? That's I might end up. Using something like that just as the mech. I think I think I think you go to an expo, you put it on the table, you take the mod out of the mod, <laughs> yeah, and you just vape away, and you just have those other that those they're just there. If you need them, they're just there. Mm. I, well, it's not something I'd, but I mean, I, I I think it's good to see anybody thinking outside the box. I think that needs to stay in the box. But... It, it is, and, and there is another picture there. You, I've done a little collage there of some of, of Nicky, uh, Nicky's other designs. He, he does design yeah. some great little, little looking mods, but this was just a little bit too wacky. And I just thought, just thought it was a little bit of fun. Bring it to the show. No offense, Nicky. You know, that we, we, we do like you're on the show. We like all of your designs, but this one was just a little bit too crazy. And uh, I think maybe you shouldn't carry it. Carry, put your extra batteries in a case. Pop a little sausage in there. Pop a little sausage in there. <laughs> and when you get a little bit peckish, nom, 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 nom. Pack of Frosties, the, the original Coke ones. Just in the side. You just there, I mean, there is definitely other uses for that. I mean, there is definitely, definitely other uses for that. Half a pack of Rolos. Done. Take your 18350 Mac. Like, 
this. Take one of these, and you got four 18350s in your bag, and just fake this. Do got it on the side, mate. We do. Yeah, you need to get a bit of uh, gaffer tape on there, mate. Whoa, What's stick up? it off there. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's true, but yeah, it wouldn't look as good as that design with sellotape, though, would it? I'll be honest with you. If you look, if you look on uh, on NR Mods uh, Facebook group, you'll not say that he took it down. He messages earlier in the week, and uh, I, I I expressed my opinion, and then, and then mysteriously it disappeared. Uh, but I'd already got the pictures. So, uh, but you need. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's my last one for this evening. Yeah, it's out there. We like out there thinking, but yeah, it's, it, yeah, definitely it's, a bit, it's a bit mental. Look at that, Derry Murphy. He loves cola frosties, and we you, son. Brilliant, Dad. Sorry, you're older than me. <laughs> so <laughs> he's only 39, but still. All right, Daddy. Right. You don't uh, look as old as you. Oh, fuck off, mate. <laughs> I was rode hard and put away wet. This and is anyway, Derry. If we're talking about Derry, the yeah. show starts at nine. Derry. He's been on the piss. That's his Irishness. Come I down. don't care. So on, like, maybe he had a big dinner and. Had a nap on the couch. Nah, he finished. <laughs> he finished work at five o'clock. He's consistently late, guys. I was in. He's was in the pub at late. ten past five. I like it. Solid. I think he has to wait till the wife tells him. Right. Uh, just to make news, it's not very exciting, um, but it is this. Uh, we are. Well, no, it is exciting. There's some good, some good news. <laughs> Fucking hell, John. Big sale. Listen, big sale. There's some good news and some ish news. Um, so the big uh, one thing is first thing: pistache levels are. Oh, way down low so if you do want to try to smash get on it now i know some people are waiting for payday and i know it's been a really long month so obviously that's coming up this weekend or possibly early next week we've got loads and loads of kits left that's the first thing number two is that uh the shop shot on saturday so because i'm going to expo um i'm faithful pistache too um we're all lost to expo uh, me and the wife you know expo um and then... When are you when getting the, there on Saturday, John? About midday. about midday. Why is Craig saying he won't see you? Because he's going to go on Friday. But I thought he was going on... Okay. No, he's going to go on Friday. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah, we've got to do the expo bit. I'll do the expo bit at the end of this. So, anyway. Pistache levels are low. Uh, just because it's been big. Um, <clears throat> we shot on Saturday. At, the shop shot on Saturday just because we're going to expo. Uh... We've got to go to the West Country. Um, sadly, <clears throat> I've got to go to my uncle. Well, no, I've got my uncle's funerals on Monday. So I've, I've got to take Monday and Tuesday off to go to Devon. So anything, if you order anything from after four o'clock tomorrow, it won't get shipped until Wednesday because the, the, the sites, yeah, well, I, I'm just not there. Uh, but after the show, pop a little order in. Pop or order. Chill. But um, I am going to run. Uh, we've decided to get rid of, not get rid, end the lines DB uh, seven sins and DB liquid seven sins. I've decided to end those lines. Um, they're, 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 there's two good ones which we might bring back, but there's five that we won't. And um, so I am going to take off. I'm going to make it up on the spot. I'm going to take 30%. Off the price of uh, DB concentrates. I'm not even going to make you use a coupon. I'm just going to knock 30% off the price of DB liquids, seven sins concentrates by 30%, and I'll knock 30% off the base price of the kits from tomorrow at four o'clock. I will do that. Um, and that'll run until. Mm, what are the Monday. flavors? There's loads of flavours. Rail cracker? Is that DB? <laughs> no, it's not DB. No, no, no. Right. Go over to the side. Fine. There's, there's, there's going to be five because we're out of two. Oh, is two. it fuzz? No, that, that's fluff. Well, that's, that's, that is DB. DB. That is, they do make fluff, but that's not a sin. Right. Gluttony right. would be a sin. Oh, OK. okay. That, that would have 30% off it. We don't, the only two we don't have is wrath and envy. Um, but the other five sins are going to be uh, thirty percent. Oh, fluff should comments. definitely be a sin. Fluff should be a sin. Fluff, just put yeah. early fluff. Gluttony, wrath, fluff, fluff. pocket yeah. fluff, drip tip fluff. 
Oh, just it fluff. Anyway, but it's uh, that's what we're going to do. So if you do want to try, anyway, piss stuff. If you want to try, it, get on it. Oh, Toby um, from Hayestown Vapes is going to be at Rape Expo weekend. Look at that. Mm, that is so oh, yeah. oh, it's right in there. Um, Toby's going to be is over already. He landed in London yesterday, day before, and uh, then making their way up to Birmingham. Was he walking? Yeah. He ran a tracksuit. He's got the M1. He bought a Nata. He bought a Nata with a raspberry. He bought a Nata. <laughs> so it looks awful. On the M1 in the services. Um, he was Expo. pleased for it, though, wasn't he? he was he pleased for it? <laughs> he was pleased. Expo the return. Uh, oh, Craig is going to be there tomorrow. Ex fabulous host Craig Harrison is going to be there tomorrow. I'm going to be there on Saturday. Nigel Moxon from SVB. He's going to be is he not tomorrow. showing then? He's not showing. He's not showing. No. Um, if you're there tomorrow, have a fantastic day. Richard, now I can't make it to some work. I can't go on Friday now. On Friday, there's a slight, tiny chance that Richard might make it on Saturday. I'm definitely going to be there on Saturday. If you're coming to, um, if you're coming there, uh, can't wait to see you. We really love it. Few things to remember always when you go to one of these things. <sighs> Don't put anything down. Don't put anything down and leave it on on a, on a thing. Um, uh, don't leave your bags open. Watch what you're doing all the time. Um, if it's your first time coming to a show, yay, brilliant! Come and say hi. Do say your name first when you if you're introducing yourself to people, just because it's easier. You might your picture on Facebook might be a picture of a penguin. No one will know what that means. Um, take loads of pictures and enjoy yourself. I'm really looking forward to Expo the Return because I, I kind of look forward to the last one of the year, and this is my last one of the year. So, and then the season is over for me. In fact, yeah, there is one rule that you forgot. Uh, Go for it. What's that? It's normally the first rule you tell anyone always. I, I bluffed. I... Is <clears throat> your strawberry fluff exhale is not strong enough to hide your beer? Bring deodorant. Okay, yeah, that used to be Craig's. That's, big that's Craig's one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, well, it was everywhere. It was shared mentality. It was. Yeah, don't, it's not a wash in a can. Do do something about it. Yeah. All right, stingy. Cut <laughs> <laughs> <Not> off. <laughs> James, let's let's try a guitar by these motherfuckers. Oh yeah, God, again. it's well overdue. It really is. It really is. It really is. Uh, How okay. are than lads? <laughs> what, James? What is Travava? Best. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what Triumph Vitavar is. It's it's uh, it's things that remind you of vaping, but that aren't really vaping at all. I think we've got some examples coming up. Right on screen now. We've got a man in a dragon costume. Okay, yeah, it's brilliant. Not, it's, that's Gary. That's Gary Dibley. It's a very young Dibley. It is a young Dibley, yeah, yeah. But is it Dibley? Dibley? Is it? Is it? How do, do we know? Is it definitely Dibley? It's definitely Dibley. He posted it? it. Yeah, it's Gary. Okay. Oh yeah. No, it's not. No way. It is Gary. It's Gary wow. Dibley. Oh, Dibbers. Oh, that hair. Nice. Nice. Good looking dude. Before he lost the hair. Yeah. Oh, look at you, Dibbers. Oh, it's Snapdragon. Dibbley. Look, it's this is so. This is from Colin Durant. Uh, this is a uh, it's not it's got Snapdragon on there. The Snapdragon, the uh, Snapdragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be. A, he used to be a holiday rep. Did uh, our, our delightful um, Gary Dibley. He's a fun guy. He's a really fun guy. And imagine him being a rep. talking bollocks. I'll tell you for why. Why? That Lilo is circa twenty fourteen. Seriously, that's Gary Dibley. <laughs> <laughs> We're now looking at a bike chain. Uh, right, okay, this is Colin Albans, I presume. Okay, oh, yeah, oh, this is, I mean, this is, this is, uh, I like that, like, his style, he was on a tr train, I think, possibly, and he snapped this pick, bikes on trains, uh, look at the tire, the tire says Nick, Nick on it. Who does? Like, nicotine, Nick, Colin Albans, next one. Ooh, uh, we're looking at a Chinese restaurant menu. Okay, the, oh, yeah, uh, Capella, uh, that's the oh, yeah. <laughs> did you spot that capella the, the old uh, I did not see the that flavor, not the flavor oh, of the very good. Uh, it's not a Chinese restaurant menu, is it? No, it is uh I think it's, it's a is it a racing magazine? No, I don't know what it is. What, what is he looking it's at there? Set list, isn't it? Oh no, I know where it is. It's top selling singles. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Colin. That's what it, it is. is. This is Colin, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That yes. is weird. Right, um, uh, we're now looking at a black and white picture of Colin people again. having a good time. Uh, Colin, has been proficient this week. He's had a loads of try of Badova. So this is reminded him of, you know, the... Uh, Give him a reach. This is a reach. It is. It's, it's, it's tenuous <laughs> at best. However, we've included it because it's not, it's, it's not just somebody doing this. It's, you know what I mean? It's not just somebody flipping the bird uh, or some stupid spastic shoes. Um, you can't use that word. But it's right, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's no. a little, it's a little bit reachy, but I mean, it's right though because we're now looking in in a lot of parts of America, we are looking at this exact thing. It's true. It was more strange saying that word. It's, it's all right, man. It's all right. Could have glossed <laughs> over it though, couldn't we? Here we are. We're still glossed over it, right? What's the next one? Uh, oh, point it out, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a pry screw cutter tool. Okay, I think this it reminded them <laughs> of some sort of coil, maybe. Yeah, it looks like a coil head. Yeah. And it is it's like worse to take the thing off. Um, <laughs> right. That Glam is shit. Out that last one's awful. <laughs> Who was that one? Who was that coil? That was Colin Albans again. They were all, oh, they were, all, they're all so, coil. All uh, from coil. Oh, we're look, now looking at a watch face. Okay, this is Dan Goodchild. Oh, we're speaking of smock Nord earlier. This is their uh, this is a Nord watch, not by smock. That's a fancy watch. It's a fancy watch. I still can't tell the time on it. No, I can't. It's thirty-four minutes past. It's just thirty-four what? minutes past. Yeah, yeah, you've got to know what hour it is. It'll just hey, tell you the minute. I think I've seen I've seen the other side. So you've got to take your watch off and look at the other side to see the hour. You have to just you have to tap someone on the shoulder on the tube and go, excuse me, mate, have you got the hour? Yeah. We'll hour. <laughs> I don't know what I know what minute it is, but what hour is it? I think you can probably guess the hour most times of the day, can't you? Um not when surprised. you have a nap on the couch. <laughs> Within an hour, I reckon. Forty seven million views, that's not. Right, X. Uh, oh, we're just looking at a flaw. Okay, this is DF Cutting. It's 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 a it's a VB V It's an SBB table. It's it's kind of <laughs> that's the look through. Gecko. Yeah. So it's all right. It's shit. I mean, <laughs> come on, this is semi reachy, but it looks like a real picture. Oh, the, post, well, the, the shittest one of the week. Now. Last week. Uh, America's pile of uneaten bacon is the biggest in 48 years. Because of David Childs, yeah. Did he you thought know? it looked like a hybrid block. It does look a little bit like it could be, he thought um, it was a bit like green stab It wood. does not. I want to know more about this. It doesn't matter, it's not bacon, just throw it in the bin. John, a slab of hybridized bacon. It's not cured, it's not bacon, chuck it in the bin. It's fine. Yeah, it's but why, 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 why is, why is why? this? Why? So much uneaten bacon. They've probably tried some British bacon, found out theirs isn't bacon, and they just left it. I agree with them. Leave it. It's a bit like the Cadbury's thing, isn't it? To be fair, they probably had a frazzle. Cadbury's is banned in America, isn't it? No. Oh, it might be Cocoa Pops. I don't listen when people talk to me. Kinder eggs. <laughs> um, new pot for the Cascade. It's, we're looking at a fucking plant. I have. We are indeed. This is from this is from Ernie Stafford. This is me old mates. Ernie, this is it says it's Vaporetto, isn't it? Ah. On the on the on that it's like a wine glass converted. Yeah, What's the wine glass? Is that Ernie, Ernie who is a milkman? Yes, Ernie the he's milkman. The fastest yeah. milkman in the West. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> that milkman. was one of my favourite jokes this week. <laughs> Next, uh, forty-two hilarious times people met, thought they met celebrities. Oh, this is fizz. This is from that fizz. doesn't count. You're not supposed to be doing Johns. Yeah, I know, I know. But but the thing is, is the thing, is the thing, because it was that guy is it, Mark Wahlberg. I know. I, I think it's Mark. I think it's it uh, is. It is Mark Wahlberg. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. But because you're not Mark Wahlberg, agreed. Uh, then that was why it got on because you're not Mark Wahlberg. And because you don't look anything like Mark Wahlberg. No shit. And that um, nobody has ever mistaken you for Mark Wahlberg. They have. In pubs. That's be, why. You have to be really that pissed. That, that, they haven't. Uh, that's why. He broke his own rule. We need to remember that. 
Yeah, yeah, that's you, you're allowed to break your own rules. It's breaking other people's rules. That's when you get in trouble. Oh, it's so fantastic. Can't say that. Uh, Next one. Mad Dog Pale Ale. Uh, I'm not sure I get this one. Uh, is it? Is it because it's, it's? It was. It was advertised as a doubler. It was advertised as a as a really? as a doubler. I haven't got one. Uh, I, I know the Mad Dog twins. sounds a bit like Mod Dog, who made Broom, the five. It says, no, it wasn't Evil Twin a thing. Yeah, he's Gav's normally in. It's no brewed way. by Brew Dog, so I suppose there's a no. bit of a Brew Dog idol, I'm sure. I got oh. Oh, it's got evil twin at the top. Oh, evil twin. What I've been saying, am I fucking on mute? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just ignoring you, Brad. I was thinking. We, I can't we, think we just I'm assumed because you weren't here for the first hour that we could we could completely fucking ignore you for the next <laughs> half an hour. Yeah, Couldn't course, blame evil, you. Evil twin. Is that what they, is that what they call on that new uh, AVL thing? Is that what it's it called? It is. Evil yeah, twin. that's right. Spot on. Yeah, evil twin. Okay, right. Okay. Um, okay. Looking at a blue drink. Yeah, I don't get this one either. I don't get this one either. Who's this? Schwar, the Schwarzenegger who's in uh, usually spot on. I know that's why I've included it because I presume it's just something that I'm not saying. Uh, is it Bantha? Oh, what are you talking about? The blue, the blue, the blue thing drink from Ian. Bantha milk. Does it say where, where's the reference? Well, it's milky and it's blue. Panther. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't, we, I don't we, know anything about. What is it? Star Trek? I don't know. He, he, well, he was. He, that's the thing. He what? Yesterday he was at the at. Star Wars land. That is oh, what right, it is okay. then. He's right. ordered a bantha milk, I reckon. Right. That's right. what it is. That's what it is. And don't get us wrong, that little thing on the side does look a little bit like a bantha horn um, thing. That is fair it play, is. fair play. Okay, next one. Uh, 510. 510. That's from Schwar again. Even though he's on his holly bobs, he's still... He's never without that camera, in. is he? He's never. never. He's done another one as well. It's pretty good. Uh, universe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is... This is the black box logo on the side of that hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's a hotel. Is it a hotel? I'm not sure if it's a hotel or not. Universal that's... Studios. <laughs> Spot on. Tight like that's well, that's how they do it, Brad. They just write that universe. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think that is. Uh, RDNA, the next generation of gaming performance. Oh, okay, this is yeah. this is yeah, this is James Carney. This is oh. Uh, it's the, the shark RDNA, isn't it? The RDNA, absolutely. It's 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 not just similar. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same name. That would remind you of vaping, wouldn't it? That it would yeah. totally, totally. If somebody had the same name as a vaping thing, then maybe you should uh, snap a photo or a snapshot or a, a screenshot, and then maybe send it to the show. Take a photo YouTube. or a snapshot, either one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We're now looking at something for sale on Bang Good. Okay, this is James Hall. This is a, it's kind of a McMod sort of jobby, and it's kind of a McMod. Very, 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 very. We're in a few bangles. Or a very, a very posh car too. Yeah. Or a very uncomfortable butt plug. Ooh. A, oh, God, yes. Oh, we're looking at the Vamo V12 now. Yeah. Uh, this must be on a program. This is from John Martin, who's down, currently doing his Jai Hears impersonation. <laughs> Jai Hears. No, what, what was he watching on telly? How good is that? Oh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a Dan Jason Brown Bourne. film. I can't remember what Dan Brown film, but it was the latest Dan Brown film that I didn't even give a shit about. As soon as Angels and Demons. On, no, it's one after that. Don't know what the fuck. Are you called. watching it? Then why was it why was it on your television world at home? Because we were watching it. It was Sunday afternoon, chilling. That it looks bam. It looks bam out. Bang! Yeah. I was like, I like I like won. Try it bizarre bar. I tell you, it's so Lucky good. Hungry. I included both pictures, John. Did you really? It's yeah. that good. Oh, I that. knew yeah, it was too. that good. It's crying out for an atty on top. Uh, but what very good, very well done. Oh, we're now looking at um, uh, cyanide and happiness. Okay, um, they're not always going to be out of the park. <laughs> All right? Not always. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you people? You were hoping this one would get Check it out. Invented a new drink called the F5. Mm, why is it called that? Because it's so refreshing. Well, it's because everybody gets refreshed when there's a list. Yeah, that's I mean, shit. not anymore, not anymore, but that was a thing. That was a thing. It was. Move on. That's no, so uh, my fault. A late 2015 Travava. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Um, oh, we're now looking at a picture of Colin from the past. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is definite proof that Colin Albans is a time traveller. Is that really what it was? Because that really does look like Colin. That's because that is Colin, that's why. <laughs> that is freaky. I, I just thought Colin was had an acting gig. No, seriously. <laughs> And it's not the only example. If you watch documentaries 
of World War Two, you'll see him on the front line. <laughs> uh, so is that is that really what it was that it was Colin? Yeah, it's Colin. Colin it, well, no, it is Colin. It's, it's, Co- it count, has anyway. Colin seen this? That's demented. No, that is, no, no. Seriously, oh, I'll show, I've got a, a flick book of <laughs> of Colin. Yeah, I've got pictures from uh, prehistoric times. <laughs> Uh, and we're now looking at a, a, it's a black and white picture of a hand, a, a guitar. Yeah, this is from Keith Jones. Uh, no, I, tr- I tried because I, I hate the videos. I don't like the sending the videos in. Stop sending them. We can't put videos on. Um, I, this is the best snapshot I'll get. This is uh, he's he's playing guitar. And look, I mean, when you see it in his hand and he's moving his hand about, it looks a bit like it's a modern alley. Uh, it's from Keith Jones there. I've, I've just snapped the best snapshot I possibly could. Is it what is it the the bow wow lever thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, no, no. He, he was a str- I mean, it looks a bit like uh, like a a quarter inch jack, but um, but it's like it's got something in it. I'm running tally show. It might be an able one. Running tally show where it is. I don't know where it is. Fair play. Uh, we're now looking at a copper coil in a vice. That was brilliant. It does look like Clapton and it any kind of. Somebody else had created this almost. It was a, a device for making it. I, I don't know. It was it was a conductive type thing. But anyway, I thought it was great. Again, this is just <sighs> another snapshot. It was a video. The video. It was. I mean, the, this seems like a really good way of actually making clappings. To be honest with you, this 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 uh, this video, which was for making these induction coils, wherever this is, um, this that is exactly what I was trying to go for. Induction coil. That's exactly what it is. Um, but but yeah, um, I, I think we should be making these ourselves. If you're a clapping maker, the way that this worked was so it was it worked so well and so flawlessly that um, that you should watch that video and make one yourself for for your clappings. Uh, that's from Mark Dunn. Mark Dunn, who is who was then pro, um, pronounced um, a tribe part of our himself because you know the old Dunn thing. Yeah, isn't uh, it, wasn't I, it, isn't he a triumph of a virgin as well? It was, it was his first ever one, it was his first ever one. He it's did send bad, in a video. It's not but... bad at all. It's, it's not bad. bad at all, it's a good one. Thank you, Mark Dunn. We're now looking it's at a horse. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a kind of a double a double la 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 from Matt English. This is half. half. Uh, we've, we've mentioned uh, it's half. A bit, it's a bit wang. Well, yeah. it's half and nuts. It's, you know, nuts. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's good odds. It won a game in a 25 to 1, actually. Did it come in? It did. Uh, yeah, no, it? I think it came in a 15 to 1. I think the, the odds gone down to 15 to 1 by the time one. Oh, whoever snapped the shot of, of the, the winning thing was at 15 to 1, but still, that would, that would have been really nice, even each way. Never look at the trainer, <laughs> always look at the jockey. Uh, Somerset Johnstown. One yeah, this is from Paula. Uh, it's my town. Yeah. He let her off. Look, he's That's letting them through now. Good. Next one, whore. Bogan's Carpet and some superstar. Yeah. Uh, from Paul Hughes. He was in the traffic jam. He squired it. He took a picture. These are my favourites. These are my absolute favourites. I love it when people are just snapping them with real, real, they really say them, they really snap them. Uh, that's from Paul Hughes. A good, oh, one. good to see Sam at the weekend. Uh, uh, nice to see him branching out as well. Yeah, yeah, it's about time. Uh, a lot of people have been saying carpets. I swear it's like Moving to Florence, Sam. Next, that's what they're saying. They're the exact words. That's the first thing I said to him when I met him. Russell. Uh, Vicks Vapo Drops. It's you. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, it's the you. temptation to bring out a juice called Vicks Vapor Rub was. Uh, very tempting, but uh, yeah, it's a good one. It was it's nice to see. Do you know what? It was nice to see an old lady like Roz just picking up her cough drops, just ready. Yeah. What else has she got on there? Butter scotch. Yeah, she, she got a box of them. them. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, but and some I, travel sweets in a tin. Yeah, for car. the glove box. For the glove box. box. Forest drops. Yeah, it's glove ready. box. Bit of uh, talc. What is it? Shirt. What is it? That white stuff in those tins. No, Sherbet really icing. Yeah. We, we love Ross. We're not sure, but uh, bless you, Ross. And, and much love to Mick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, the Beer School. This is from Ryan Hines. Oh, Fizz. Fizz on draft. That's what it is. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Fizz on draft. Good old Fizzle. 
Imagine, imagine draft phase though. No. One of the things with draft phase is you can have it on and off whenever you like. It's ginger. <laughs> I like the idea of the off bit. Uh, oh, now looking at a man holding a guitar. Okay, this is from Tom Bateney. This this guy, this caused a bit of confusion. This one is so good. People were like, I'm not sure whether that is is that a tribe of Tom or is that the the man himself. Who made the comment uh, that I, I uh, that, that I, 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 I actually say the comment? No, we're go not on say the comment, John. Go on. We're not going to say the comment. Though. I could do the comment, but basically, it looks like Damien Martyr from formerly Safe of Open. Carl R- R- Hugh it wasn't no, me. No, I won't say it. Carl, <laughs> Carl, one best comment <laughs> of the week. I laughed for ages. Ages. Carl Hughes said if it was him, he would have sold the guitar for profit. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> See, it caused the controversy. That's the end. Of the... I couldn't even move on because that was the last one. That's prick. right. That's taking taking the onus off me saying what I said earlier. Ha ha. Mm. Right, back at you. Right, that's literally it. That's your lot. Thank the Lord. Uh, so, oh, no, if Brad, Brad, have you got any news? <laughs> I, I do, but considering it's uh, ten to eleven, no, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. What have you got? You want to hear, yeah, hear my it. news? I, I have for the three people who are still watching. No, uh, still those it. three people are Stuart, Keith, Cheech, Ali, and John. Thank you for persevering. See that they, they hang around just to hear my voice. Oh, Andy, I have Andy a, as well. a little article from The Guardian. How was E.T., by the way? Did you get him there in the end on the bike? I did, did get him, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Legal weed faces its first crisis as vaping deaths spark health scare. Um, we've feathered around the subject before, and I, yeah, it's, okay. a trigger, it's a trigger word for John. It's not. I was trying to avoid it because of the YouTube algorithm, but I'm happy to go with it. Oh, right. Well, I, well, I don't you know, care. You know me and algorithms. Yeah, oh, no. you can say anything. You can say what you like. Yeah. I was Slow, just trying to avoid it. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> the, the, ca- the cannabis industry and public health scare is its first major crisis, also perhaps an opportunity Cannabis vape sales reportedly fell by 15%. It's like you've got deaths in the United States. You've got the branding blaming it on vaping. You've got the government blaming it on vaping. You've got vaping flavor bans. You've got people counter, individuals counter suing to prevent the bans. <clears throat> And the stupid fucking potheads, where the problem is, there's a 15% drop. And it's not a 15% drop in the entire industry. It's 15% drop in the legal vape side of crap that they have in shops. Um, I, just, I thought it was an interesting article because it's from the guy. A 15%, a 15% drop in anything nationwide is absolutely huge. Yeah, and... Yeah, it's a and, shitload and, of money. And Barry's watching as well, by the way. Uh, but, um, and I, I think it shows this. They know better than the authorities know. Yeah. They know yeah. what's going on. It's the same as everything the kids know. Pirate Bay shuts yeah. down. The kids know where to go. Do you yeah. know what I mean? The such and such well, is, the such and such have had someone's had a bad vibe. They know what the, they know what they know. The people on the <coughs> ground, they know what's going on. They know where to go. They know what to change. I, I made a private joke in in the because we all talk shit to each other constantly in in, like, in, in a in a chat thing, um, and I made a joke and, and, I, and I, but I, it was kind of a joke, but I did really mean it. it it's sort of self policing because the weed industry can't have a contaminant that because dead customers don't buy more weed that that's a real problem you, you need alive customers to be buying weed so it's going to go away instantly it just is going to go away because it's, it's I agree. you don't want that at all um 
I'm not, I'm not the, the people who did it definitely should be prosecuted with the full strength. They should be in prison for a long time. I they should bring back public hangings. No, don't agree with capital punishment, but you, you should definitely be put away from <laughs> it. So, you, so, hang on, hang on. Let's just let's just backtrack. Yeah, unless it's a, a red tie, unless it's old people. Oh, yeah, they can pop off and die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're learning something new about John tonight. I don't agree with capital punishment. That's no, horrific. Just doesn't agree with capital punishment unless you're a pensioner. No, or torture. Anything. No, that was a, do you know what? That was taken really seriously by a few people. Well, I only old account. people. I, well, I've got an account with the post office. I don't queue up. It was a joke. I don't. I never queue up. I walk around the queue, give them the bag, and fuck off. I'm, I don't queue up at all. I don't care. Do what you like. I know the shit out of people. I can say I was in town last week and witnessed firsthand John shouting at old people. So uh, there are some old people. There, there's oh, a video online if you Google it talk. of John hitting an old lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He then puts the car in reverse yeah. and hits her again backwards. Yeah. He kicks her <laughs> in another video that I've seen, but that, that one's hard to find. Good dicks. We know. That was in Superdrug as well, it's nothing to do with the first time it is. Fuck it. Sometimes it's just fun. I mean, like, they've got all that face. They deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's your lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, we don't know if we're here next week because it is literally trick or treat night. <laughs> oh, well, I oh. fucking hate. I don't care. Halloween shit. I don't understand why anyone does it. Anyway, I've checked. Everyone agrees it's shit. This is fine. <coughs> so in um, ca- just in case everyone's trick or treating we don't know if we're here next week but we're going to be back uh, we're going to do I want to do uh, 200th show and we're going to try and do something special for the two more show. shows and it'll be brilliant yeah we'll do something fabulous for the 200th show so thanks for watching uh, anyone to go to Expo have a blast and, and if you uh, see us get us a drink I mean say hi <laughs> <laughs> catch us on the flip side bye <laughs> Oh, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below.